So on with the plan. If you saw my last video laying out the steps that I need to take in order to upgrade this beast behind me, my EV converted Z3, you'll know that the first step is sorting out the battery box. So my batteries sit under here, or at least the battery pack I have in right now. I can pull this off. What you will see is five BMW hybrid modules, about 60 volts each. My slightly modified BMW S box. Um, I had to have a little bit of surgery to get it through its MOT after I blew the my last um, pre-charge um, resistor that would fit inside the box. It's got one outside now. Uh, and my currently uncovered BMS, I do have a cover for that, um, that will go in when this is all sorted out. But as you can see, there's a load of space here. Um, hand width almost at the top. A load of space at the sides. It's kind of wasted. And the whole thing could drop down quite a bit and create some more space because what I really want to do is bring this forward and drop it down, bring this, the inverter, over to the centre, possibly even rotate it through 90 degrees and that will create more space for heating which has to go over here and for my brake booster which is currently completely inaccessible and needs to go over here. So, quick recap from the plan video. The aim is to make some more space in the engine bay, and the way I'm going to do that is to change the layout of my battery box. Right now I've got five modules stacked three across and two high. I'm going to shorten the battery box by rotating each module through 90 degrees and putting them side by side, and moving the S box, the high voltage junction box if you like, out onto the top. This creates some space to go side by side with this, the charger which means that I've got space either side of the inverter for various ancillaries. This is all going to go into a frame that I've knocked up in CAD of 20 by 20 steel and 1mm sheet steel wrapping around the batteries and keeping it all watertight. Some might say this is over-engineered and unnecessarily heavy but hey, these are great big heavy cells and my engineering skills aren't that good, so better to be safe than sorry. It's certainly going to be lighter, smaller and neater than what I've got right now. An incremental improvement, I hope. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to finish the battery box today because the weld is packed up. Um, can't quite work it out. Then if you can see down here, got my little switch, flick the switch. Nothing happens. Try changing fuse, nada. So I'll have to take it apart and see what's gone wrong with it, which I'm not sure I've got the energy for today.
So the frame's done, but now I need to wrap it in steel. Don't really want to bear batteries out in the elements. So I've sent off my designs to a company here in Manchester who are gonna cut uh, and bend the steel for me. Um, so in theory, <laughs> um, I should just be able to slot it straight in. Um, of course I can't fit that much in the uh, EV. I could probably fit the uh, battery box bits, but uh, I'm getting some other steel as well for future projects, future videos. So today I'm in the family bus. So I've got the steel back from the metal factors and it's a non-terrible fit. Um, I think it shows up the limitations of my both fabrication ability, but also tools. I um, found it very hard to get a good 90 degree, a good square angle, um, even with those magnets and measuring and everything else. Um, so they're a little bit off in places, which means that the very square um, sheet steel doesn't quite fit, but maybe nothing that can't be fixed with a, uh, <laughs> a Yorkshire screwdriver, as they say. So we shall see. Um, unfortunately, rain has stopped play again. It's just too wet outside to be welding or anything else um, and filming, which is why I've had to do a little video in here. Um, but next video, we'll make some progress. I'm not sure when that's going to be. Christmas is coming up. Uh, but we'll make some progress on this. Or well, the next battery box video, anyway. There may be other videos in the meantime. But next battery box video, we'll get the batteries in. Uh, we'll sort out the retaining straps. Um, I'll show you how I'm going to do that um, with some an interesting arrangement, I think. Uh, for holding all these BMW modules in. Uh, look at wiring and how the wiring is going to come out of the battery box uh, into the high voltage junction box and the charger. And uh, yeah, hopefully make some continued progress. But Christmas may get in the way. So maybe a different sort of video between now and then. Thanks for watching. If you do like it, please subscribe. Please share it around with your friends and other people interested in this stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.